Welcome once again to this YouTube channel. Today we are going to look at how to filter data based on selection of on specifying a letter in a given data set. What do I mean? I, if I say all, oh, oh, give me all the items in this list whose name have letter O. There you go, you get. Then if I say, give me all the names, the data in this list which have name with letter A. So you see that all these names with letter A are returned. Even they can also be two letters. For example, you can say, give me all the data with letters AR. So as AR here, AR, 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 they are filtered from this data set. So it can be one letter like T, and a name with letter T will be returned from this. That's what we are going to do. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. In the later video, depending on how the views on this video are, I'll do another video how to, now I'm looking, we are looking at one cell, but we can also have a scenario where we have multiple cells letters in multiple cells and we want to return all the values that are indicated in a list or a range of cells. That will be for a later video, but it will depend on your liking of this video. To get started, let's jump into it. I'm gonna show you two ways. Now, the function you are gonna use is the filter function. The filter function, we give it a range of data that we want to refilter and be returned, and we give it thereafter, we give it a condition. If you don't know how the filter function works, I have a video on that. So we're gonna be using the filter function where we give it a range of data. This is our range of data. And the second is the condition. Now the condition is gonna be that th this name here has a letter here. For example, if I did like this, I'll not get a result, okay? So if I say letter O, so what I'm saying here is go in this data set, consider this column of names and pick all the names with letter O. So when I say equals to D, which has the O, it does not work. Question is, how do we make it work? To make it work, we need to use another Google Sheet function. Before I come to this, I'll get back to this letter Y. So the Google Sheet function is the search function. And what we are saying is, go here, search for this O. Where are we searching for this O in this column? Let's see what return, we get a two. Now, we are searching entire column and we're getting back one value. Why are we getting one value? Because Google Sheet does not allow display of the amount of values in a single cell to enable the display of multiple values in a single cell, we use the array formula. Now, before we go there, you also need to understand what does the two mean? It has searched the first item, O, and returned a two. What does this two mean? Two, because it is letter O, we are looking for letter O in this name, and we find it at position two. One, T is one, and O is in position two. That's why it returns a two. Good. Now, as I said, it has checked only one, it has checked all of them, but it has returned for one. To enable the display of all the others, we need to go in here and enclose this in the array formula. And to do that, we use the control shift. Enter, press enter, and there you go. Now, it, the first one, it found the O in position two. In the next one, it says O, is not found in Peter, you can see the word here. Then there's an O in John at position two, no O then. 
and so on. So that's what is happening. Now, when you look at this filter function, first one is the range that we want filter, and the next argument is a condition. And this condition needs to try, return a true or false. When a value is true, that value will be included in our filter. If it is false, it will be excluded. So the question is, how do we change this one in trues and falses? In other words, as we see where there are numbers, they should be true because it has found the letter in the name. Where it gives this value error, it should be false because it has not found the value, the letter. So to do to return this into trues and falses, what we are gonna do, we are going to use another Google function, which is gonna check, is this a number? If it is a number to return true, is this a number? If it is a number, it's not a number to return false. But let's check it out. And that function is called is number. On my search function, I'm enclosing it in is number, press enter, and there you go. So as long as there's a true, that value will be returned. Now, having got this, I can go back now to my filter function. What I'll do, I'm gonna copy this here, copy. After copying, delete that, I don't need it. Come back to my filter function. Now my next condition, I need to paste the truths and falses, press enter, boom. There you go. All the names with the letter O have been returned. Let's see if I say T. There you go. All the names with the letter T are returned. If I say ER, there you go. There's only one name with the data that has letter ER. So this is how it works. So I can say AN. See, we have two. AN here at the beginning, AN at the end. That is working fine. That is my first way of dealing with this. And by the way, if you don't know how to use the by row function, I have a video on this new function in Google Sheets. It is good that you also learn how it works. I'm gonna use by row, comma, and the range I'm taking in is this comma lambda function. Now for each item here, let me call it item comma, I'm going to search it and I'm gonna search it against the row, the item. And by item, I mean when it runs first, it will search this against Tom, item will be Tom. Then it will search this against Peter, then this against John. That's what is happening by this. I close my Lambda function. I close my by row function. So I get one, two, three, four. So it's saying that AN is found at position one. So one, two, three, four. So it's AN. It's at position one. Then the next one is at position three. This is one, two, then three, we have a n. Okay. Now uh, we want truths and forces. I'm going to use is number function to enclose the search function, similar to what I did earlier. There I get the truths and forces. Now this is my condition. I cut it out. I go here and then start writing my filter function. What I want to be returned is this, comma, my condition is those trues and falses that I got. You can see using this approach, I also get the same result. Let's test it, TE, you can see, and a name with TE is returned. 
uh, I can say J-O, and a name with J-O is returned. So this is a partial search of this item against the whole list. And when it finds it, it returns the entire row where it has detected the item. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. If you have not subscribed, ensure you subscribe. Like the video if you found it helpful to help the algorithm. In addition to that, if I get enough likes on this video, I'm going to do another video where I'll have a list of items to search against. More advanced than this will be enjoyable. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.